So I've got here an example of a nodular malignant melanoma. This was excised from the leg of an elderly patient, clinically suspected to be a nodular melanoma. And on the low power view here, you can see we've got a very cellular and solid tumour here filling the dermis and producing a exophytic polypoid nodule which does look like it's ulcerated on the surface and over here you can see evidence of uh, melanin pigment as well so even on the low power here this is very suspicious of being a an ulcerated melanoma if we go closer we can see this tumour is made up of large pleomorphic cells that do look melanocytic and are associated with melanin pigment. Fairly readily identifiable mitotic activity in the tumour and a complete lack of any evidence of maturation effect. So cells right at the base of the tumour really look similar to those at the top and mitotic activity still evident right down here at the base of the tumour. And in addition over here, some evidence of some incipient uh, necrosis as well. So a melanocytic lesion in the dermis with very expansile and irregular growth pattern, lack of maturation, cellular pleomorphism in atypia, and abundant mitotic activity. So all of these things in keeping with a malignant melanoma. And in this case, very little evidence of obvious um, junctional epidermal component perhaps a little bit here in the epidermis with a little pagetoid ascent there at the edge, but certainly uh, no obvious extension of that epidermal component beyond the invasive component. So meeting the criteria for a nodular malignant melanoma and extensively ulcerated on the surface as well. So complete loss of the epidermis and replaced by fibrinous inflammatory exudate on the surface. So this is an example of a nodular melanoma and this example Breslow thickness was measured from the deepest melanoma cell down here to the overlying epidermis and this was more than four millimeters in Breslow thickness with ulceration so staging was PT4B in this case.